Welcome to the 5-Minute Legal Master Series, where expert attorneys help you master important legal topics. Today, board-certified creditors' rights and business bankruptcy attorney Kirk B. Berkeley discusses shareholder litigation. One of the things we see a lot more these days are shareholders or disgruntled shareholders involved in litigation. And that can come in many forms. It can come in just a, a disgruntled shareholder suing the other shareholders, a, a shareholder seeking to file a derivative action against other shareholders, derivative action meaning on behalf of the company itself. Or it might also come out in the context of a bankruptcy where a creditor's committee or a trustee seeks to file a derivative action against uh, other shareholders or potentially even the board of directors for breach of their fiduciary duty. So what are the duties that board of directors and the officers of a company owe to that company? There are two primary duties that are owed to the company. One is the duty of loyalty, and the second is the duty of care. So let's talk about those each for a second. The duty of loyalty means that if you serve on the board of directors of a company, or if you are an officer of a company, you owe the duty of loyalty, and that means that you cannot be disinterested in the decisions that you are making. Your loyalty is that company. So for example, if you have a proprietary interest in some external uh, transaction outside of the company that causes you to make a bad decision on behalf of the company, you could be liable for breach of the duty of loyalty. Let me give you a very specific example. If I were an officer of a company or a director of a company and I was going to enter into a contract for the purchase of widgets to supply my company and I owned the company that was supplying the widgets, then it's, there's a good chance that I am breaching my duty of loyalty. That's not always the case. So, for example, if the company that I own supplying the widgets just happens to be the lowest cost provider, and in fact it would be a good business transaction for the company to buy the widgets uh, from my other company, then it, the first thing I should do is disclosure make sure that the other board members are aware of my interest in the supplier, and then I should in fact recuse myself from any voting on that transaction, and the non-interested board members, or the disinterested board members, if you will, in that transaction should make the decision without interference or voting from me. Sometimes it's good practice for a company to form a committee of independent shareholders, or excuse me, independent directors, to analyze the situation and issue a report and a recommendation to the rest of the board. But that might depend on how large the company is uh, or how large the transaction is. But the duty of loyalty really comes down to am I exercising and discharging my duties for the company with loyalty to the interest of the company which I serve, or is my loyalty to some other external entity, person, or transaction. The duty of care can be a little bit more complicated. Uh, when exercising the duty of care, that requires that board members and officers be informed about the decision that they are making. And that means reading reports. So let's say we're talking about a financial transaction. If I'm a board member, I should be reading financial reports that are related to the decision. I should be requesting that the CFO uh, supply information so we can make informed decisions. It might be getting advice from outside legal counsel or outside accountants, but it means gathering information so that you can make an informed decision. If, in fact, you are then informed, exercising your duty of care, and are... Uh, disinterested from the transaction, you're not, you don't have some personal gain, so you're exercising your duty of loyalty, then you will be afforded what's called the protections of the business judgment rule. And the business judgment rule says that the courts will not second-guess business decisions in hindsight. 
And just because a business decision turns out to be the wrong one, you will be afforded the protections of the business judgment rule and cannot be held liable for a bad business decision so long as you exercise your duty of loyalty and your duty of care. This has been another installment of the 5-Minute Legal Master Series, where expert attorneys help you master important legal topics. For more information on this and other topics, please visit 5minutelegalmaster.com.